Hello golfers, Brian Pate here. I want to talk about some pressure and chipping. What I have here is the force pedal, which is almost like a cut up tennis ball upside down. The only difference is the bottom of it has a webbing. So as you push down on it, it takes a little bit more pressure to push it flat and it gives you a little bit more feeling. You could also use a golf ball kind of smashed in the ground, standing on it. So with our wedges, remember we're narrow stance, balls in the middle of that narrow stance. In the back swing, we don't necessarily want to move all the way off that golf ball to the right or sway. Can we feel like we have a little pressure starting with it? It might start 50-50, maybe 60-40, so a little extra pressure, but we don't want to get too far forward in that setup. So if we start 50-50 in the back swing, we're going to increase the pressure right away. We don't want to lose the pressure to the trail foot. So in the back swing, can we increase the pressure? Then can we turn and stand on that golf ball? So we're not trying to lean back, help the golf ball in the air. If we do so, we're gonna lose the pressure. We're gonna land the club too far behind the golf ball, maybe hit the golf ball in the middle, and we're gonna lose control of our wedge. So again, some people start 50-50 in the feet. Some people might start 60-40, but when they're doing 60-40, they're kind of moving everything together, their buttons and their belt buckle. They're not just pushing the hips forwards. So 50-50, a little turn in the back swing, feel like there's a little pressure that increased. As we turn, almost like we're gonna to toss a bean bag, roll a golf ball on the ground. How would your body and pressure work? We're not trying to get that thing up to the sky. So use this concept when you're practicing to help you get better at controlling your wedge contact and motion.